Wenda mudu layo ni wajita watia muruganda Mpagamola Mpagamola Everybody thinks I'm crazy You deep and go Do you really want to know me Lalo Mwanda mkaji Ngaya wawe Ngasula wangu Mwanda wali wa Chita wa mkwenye chilinde jesusu Mwanda wali wa 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 Hello beautiful people, my name is Deborah Elizabeth Okuchu and welcome to the Midweek Chat. The Midweek Chat is brought to you by Nangabo Productions, of course one and only production company that offers you filming, videography, photography, we hire out photography equipment at an affordable rate and we also give you an opportunity to advertise your business and event with us on our different social media platform. Aside from that, the midweek chat is also sponsored by Glasgow African Online Radio, an application you can download from your Google Play Store app at an affordable megabyte rate and get entertained at the comfort of anywhere you are as long as you can access internet. Glasgow African Online Radio is here to entertain you, to educate you, and of course to inform you. So rush to your Google Play Store app and download Glasgow African Online Radio. Now we have a lot of things to talk about on today's episode of the Midweek Chat, of course with Deborah the Gossiper. And uh, amongst them we have Bruga and Costa Teach having to come back to Uganda on the 31st of December, that is the New Year's Eve. As you guys are going to chase fireworks, some people are going to be at the Garden City rooftop. Having paid tickets of 100,000, Ruga has decided to cross to the New Year from Uganda as well as Costa Teach. But what worries me is the ticket prices. The ticket prices are 100,000. Uh, I, for one, know that uh, the average ticket prices in Uganda is 50 times something, and that is when you get people. But since it's at Garden City, I think they are expecting a fewer number and people are going to be able to afford it. So this really shows that Ruga and Costa Teach have enjoyed the love that Ugandans gave them because it's not even a year or even four months since they were already in Uganda and they're already coming back. That is really amazing. Uganda is a crowd. Lately, uh, who, who Azawi, Azawi the baddest, did post that Uganda is a Uganda is the tester of African music. If Ugandans like your music, then it has qualified to go around and circulate all around Africa. And that is quite true because I see the love that these artists have in performing in Uganda is on another level. Besides that, Oxlade, who once came to Uganda but did not get the chance to complain because to to, 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 to perform because of the management that brought him in is coming back together with uh, CK and uh, that will be on the on the what is it going to be it is going to be at Lugogo Cricket Oval but I don't know what date exactly I'm going to be updating you on that but just know Oxlade is going to come back and uh, CK as well I'm not sure that Ugandans were not heartbroken when Oxlade had, had them pay their money and uh, Oxlade had been in and, and they did perform. So I don't know if they're going to turn up this time around. If they do, I am so sure it's because of CK because Oxlade's show was a disappointment and he better bring enough vibe now that people are going to be paying to see him for the second time. That is also going to be at the Lugogo Cricket Over. You can get your tickets on Cricket. Um, Raymond Amakula, a.k.a. Muchala Hamza, has a new song. It's called Ngonze. You should go stream it. It's a beautiful song. It is, uh, it's on fire. It is circulating all over the internet and people are in love with it. You should go and check out Ngonze by Raymond Amakula. Shiba Two Day Concert is uh, yet to come. Uh, it's going to be fire at Serena Hotel. Kampala Serena Hotel. Ensure to get your tickets. By the way, for the first day, all the tables are already sold out. You wonder where people are getting all these three millions to pay for tables, yet they are complaining about the economy. Anyway, that is just there to remind you that you're broke alone. If you haven't yet got a ticket to Shiba's concert, please do. Now, lately, Shiba was asked during an interview her thoughts on Jeff Chiwa, uh, Tim No Sleep's boss, having fired Pinky for indiscipline. What does she think about that? And she was like, um, 
she wouldn't blame anyone she wouldn't take sides because she does not know what exactly took place and she was further asked if pinky was truly her perfect replacement with team no sleep and this is what shiba had to say everyone has got their own journey and you cannot be comparing one person to another she's special pinky is also special in her own way so she doesn't feel like for some reason anyone should call her should call anyone a replacement of another because they are two different individuals they are two different personalities now with the world cup news morocco is the only existing african country in the world qatar world cup 2022 right about now so africa's hope is on morocco just yesterday morocco had a match and uh, you'd think it is uganda that is contesting me from uganda i and and and, and i'm not really following world cup i almost asked people is uganda playing today because all over theaters and everywhere where people were streaming the world cup from there was a lot of excitement due to morocco's win that really shows africans supporting each other and uh, we wish morocco the best in the world cup amazing news lately a photo of hamza together with eddie kenzo hugging not hugging okay shoulder hugging themselves surfaced on the internet and this excited the netizens everyone was so excited to see the photo it caused a lot of fire and people were saying wow that is really a good spirit it doesn't mean you should be like wild enemies because you've shared a woman she has been yours and now she's with another person man uh heal heal and and, and, and let go so this photo of Eddie Kenzo and Hamza shoulder hugging each other has really amazed Ugandans. Uh, their maturity has been their maturity has been ranked up, and that is really beautiful. And guess what? Just said he did also post this on his Twitter and tweeted that he's waiting for Henry to take such a picture with him. We shall know about that when the photo also surfaces on the internet. Do not forget. If you're a young kid out there, if you're a high scholar and a holiday maker, to go and attend the high school Ch Chiromo that is going to be at the Wonder World Amusement Park this Saturday, hosted by MC Olo. And uh, go have fun. It's time to vibe with your fellow teens and have the high school vibes back again during the holidays. Well, as I always say, all good things come to an end. Thank you for having me on the midweek chat. See you next time. Bye-bye. We na mudu la yoni wajita wati ya muruganda Everybody thinks I'm crazy You deep and go Do you really want to know me? Oh! Nga mkaji, nga ya wawe, nga sula wangu Baba wali wa, jita wa mkwezi kini nge jesu Kono la yoni mfemo teka wase Katua Anjulide, Glasgow African Online Radio. Osobolo downloading a app eno, ku Google Play Store, oba App Store. Ogende kulira music iwe yenegwe iwe daga, agendo kuisa mulu naku, ne mchiro chona. Gota uliranga ko, ne gwari o ulideko. Oyagala uliimba loru za nyewe, oyagala kutumida, oinabirango, ubu oyagala kulanga. Gende kwa WhatsApp number, plus nyanya musavo, nyamu kaga biri, muenda munana tano, satu tano munana. Oba ku email, luledo nasa1997 at gmail.com. Oba ku mkutu kutu kutu www.glasgowafricansociety.co.uk A Glasgow African Online Radio